Hi, Mark Lorenzoni here on behalf of my longtime friend Jerry Ratcliffe for the latest uh, edition of Sub 4 where I try and cram in as many things about local running and walking interests in less than four minutes. All right, here we go. Okay, so we've got a few, um, it's a quieter time of year, but we've got a few races on tap coming up in the in the next few weeks and uh, next month. We have the Sugar Hollow 5K and 10K put on by our friends out at the Whitehall Ruritan. Um, beautiful race out west of town. Nice flat courses, um, unusual for this um, area, obviously, and that's on the 29th of February. And then the following week, a uh, race near and dear to my heart, the Haven AK for our uh, neighbors down at the Haven. We put it on every year um, this year with the Charlottesville Track Club, of course, and F3. I'm delighted to have them along helping us out. And that's on March 7th. Um, we continue to have weekly, every Wednesday morning, early, 5.30, at the UVA track, community workouts. These are for all paces, all abilities. The only requirement is that you must be doing at least six or seven miles for your um, your longest run, since it's a pretty long workout. But uh, please, it's called the Speedsters. You sign up through the Schultzville Track Club, and it's free. And I'm I get to meet you and coach you. It's uh, you about seventy to one hundred people out there every week. Uh, um, good stuff. So if you're looking to improve on your times. Get a little faster. This is perfect. And speaking of, the 10-miler training program continues every Saturday morning, 8 o'clock, all abilities. At this point, it is not a starter program because we're up to 6 miles or almost 7 miles for our, our group 1. So um, that's 8 o'clock every Saturday morning. Again, information is also track club. On the 29th of February, a bunch of us are heading down to Atlanta to cheer on. We have at least 12 locals, um, folks with local ties that are running in the U.S. Olympic Marathon Trials in Atlanta on the 29th. It should be a lot of fun and uh, uh, to go down and cheer them on. Um, very hilly course from what I gather, so our Charlottesville folks will be plenty prepared. Um, Jack Eliason and Joe Hawks, uh, the dynamic duo, wonderful kids from Western Elmo, um, really made a huge mark on uh, the cross-country world over the last uh, four years. Are both signed to run at the University of Virginia, so they'll be attending UVA this coming fall and running um, with Vin Lanana and his crew. So very excited to have the boys uh, stay here locally. A recent study, I'm very excited about this one, that tells us walking is every bit as good for you as running. Um, the key, the only uh, caveat is that you have to do it for um, at the, the same distance. So um, if you walk, run for four miles and you do that in 40 minutes, um, you can get the same benefit from um, walking, but you got to walk the four miles, which obviously takes you takes you longer. So good stuff. Um, I'm up to five days of walking a week myself with a couple of running days. It's the headlamp time of year. I know a lot of folks make fun of them, but good grief, um, they're they're fantastic. They light the way ahead of you, and they also let people see you as they're coming towards you, whether they're on a bicycle or a car or whatever. So it's a um, good safe uh, tool all the way around. Thank goodness the footing has been great lately. So. Uh, uh, we don't have any ice or snow on the ground, knock wood. And then just a, a quick tip about uh, um, warming up. The best way to stretch for any sport is to do something called sport-specific uh, stretching, which is really a dynamic stretch in the sense that you do the exact same sport that you're uh, um, working on, but you do it slowly. So for running, um, you start out not by stretching, but you start out by running very slowly. So someone who runs 10-minute pace, um, should their first half mile of their run should be about 11 to 11.30 pace as they let their body naturally warm up. Same with any other sport, tennis, basketball. You see these folks at the Australian Open, they come out, they're not pulling or pushing on their body. They're just gently stroking the racket and hitting the ball until they get their body warmed up naturally. All right, got it in. Um, so uh, as I always say, all of us are sub four minute milers. Just depends on where in the mile we hit four minutes. For me these days, it's pretty far along. In this, excuse me, it's pretty um, quick into the run that I hit four minutes being an 11 minute pace guy. So until next time, get out there, get on your feet, and keep moving. All right.